Good morning, Amber and Scott. I am so excited. I've been waiting all week to tell you about this story. Two brothers have spent their lives side by side stroking the keys of a piano. One plays the melody while the other improvises and together one cohesive sound is created. Their tune sounds off more than just talent but a calling to give back to the members of their community. The Bizarro brothers are only teenagers but have already spent a decade volunteering through the art of piano playing. We're both good. He, he, he was just born with a grand piano though coming out. I'm just lucky to be playing with him. Dominic, 16, is already in college studying engineering. Angelo, 13, has perfect pitch. Dominic leads while Angelo improvs, accompanying his brother only by ear. They work really well as a team. If you, if, when you're watching them in person, you can see them looking at each other. And, and I don't know what it is. It's a little, it's a little sign that I, I don't even see. It's like a brief look and they immediately do something that I don't know what it is, but they, they, know, they know how they're communicating. So that's kind of what we do. We listen and we feel, after doing it so long with each other, we feel the nuances that are in the music. So we know, okay, I can hear it. And then you can he's, like he's guess winding what down. he's yeah. going to do. Yeah, he's winding down. It's not really a guess anymore. I mean, we kind of know what each other's feeling. Uh, it took a while to mesh. <laughs> Our grandpa always says we were in, the, in his studio, the, uh, the main sitting area, and his clients would come up to him and say, I love the boys, but they sound off. It would take three years practicing on a small keyboard in their grandfather's photo studio to sound in harmony. Performing on the tough streets of downtown at night was where the boys would learn to fight for their voice. Literally on the horses, on the, on the bikes, everything just stopped on those little segways and everything would just stop and watch us. The applause was too loud. Mm. So we had to move and the Gaslight Movie Theater didn't want us even though we were bringing a crowd. So they kicked us out of there. Um, uh, the man who, who is the father, not to be there for them, that was hard. Believe it or not, I raised my daughter since she was 13 months old. And I did that all the way through uh, uh, high school and, and college. So I'm used to it. And so when they were born, I just did what I had to do. The boys would be exposed to tough crowds, but also people who would need their music to get through the hard times. Mm. It's one of the first uh, one of the senior, first senior retirement people. centers. Mm. He thought that the music could, you know, definitely bring some happiness to a lot of the residents there. And so the boys, this is one of their first performances. Later, the boys landed all types of paid gigs, but the venue they really wanted wouldn't pay and didn't have an opening. They had their eye on the Ronald McDonald House, wanting to give back. One Christmas Eve, they got their chance. Someone canceled at the Ronald McDonald House, we need you to perform. Yeah. And so we performed, we got, up we, got, piano, yeah, we got up there, uh, oh yeah, to go. packed up the piano, uh, and uh, then to, uh, rushed from Chula Vista up to Claremont. Crowds gathered around the boys as they played. They became regulars. Young pianists became composers who used the struggling families around them as inspiration for their song, Brothers Waltz. What we gave them was a sense of relief yeah, from yeah. that. And, that and they, they would come up and say that to us, not just to us, but <coughs> if they had to leave and couldn't talk to us because we were playing, they would tell the front desk people, hey, tell the kids for a few minutes there, we weren't at the Ronald McDonald House. None of this was happening. It was all just relaxed. It took them away. Yeah. boys have been through a lot, they continue to play for others rather than themselves. They now hope to be on Ellen DeGeneres, but whether or not fame comes their way, they will always be the Bizarro Brothers. Now, the boys haven't landed their big break just yet, but Dominic still plans to pursue engineering at Cal State Long Beach, and Angela will attend the Orange County School of the Arts next year. Now, the brothers are working to release a jazz CD in the near future, and I'm actually going to try and reach out to my friends at Ellen DeGeneres to try and get these boys the exposure that they need.